This scuzzle by Bob Calcuri was November 11th in 1992 it was written and it's called Create Longing in My Heart. Oh Mayher, I don't know why you are quite indifferent towards me since a long time. Is it a way to bring me closer and closer to you to the pain I suffer because of your indifference? Oh friends, you ask me how I pray to the beloved and what I say in my prayer and what should I tell you? My love for my beloved is my prayer and the language of love is always silent and love seeks his pleasure. Oh beloved, why can people not realize what you help to render to the mankind? The reason is this, that the fulfillment of their desires and expectations is not any help, and to, and to make them free from desires and expectations is help. Oh, brothers and sisters, why do you think that the beloved will not help you because you have weaknesses and you have committed sins? Know well that the beloved is like the sun, and the sun gives light to everyone, whether he is a sinner or a saint. Oh, beloved, you are as the ocean within everyone. But why can people not drink from your ocean? The reason is that in order to drink from the ocean, one should have thirst. But the desires block the passage of thirst, and the ocean remains disappointed. Oh Lord, do not give me anything except the one thing which is most precious to me. Create longing in my heart to repent and repent for all my deeds, thoughts, and words, and this longing will embrace your compassion. O oh, Bao, you put on beautiful dress, and you go on changing your dress every day so that people may think that you are very clean. But what a fool you are, that you don't know that you have to become completely naked by getting rid of your sanskaric dress. This is a gospel by Bao Kalchuri written on 15th December 1992, entitled, Your Divine Game. O oh, Meher, I ask you very often to kill me with one stroke, but why don't you kill me? The reason is this, that my false self does not want to die, and therefore you have to kill it inch by inch very carefully. O oh, friends, the real self in everyone never suffers and never enjoys, and it always remains in the state of bliss, though it does not experience it. This is the reason why we are in creation, to experience the state of bliss, but we remain stuck under the clutch of misery and happiness. O oh, brothers and sisters, no one is greater than our real self, and no one is lower than our false self. Let us therefore part with the company of the false self by throwing it in the fire of love for the beloved and become one with the real self. O oh, beloved, how is it possible for anyone to fathom the secret of your divine game? You are eternally free and you are eternally bound in everyone and everything. O oh, Lord, I don't want to keep you bound in me, and therefore, why don't you get yourself free from me? But this is the secret of your divine game, that you give full freedom to my false self to play its game, and when it gets completely tired, it sets you free. Oh, Father, why did you create innumerable toys for your children to play with? And why do you get them lost in the game? Perhaps you want to get them tired of the game. And when one gets tired, you embrace him to give him inner strength and make him play with you. Oh, Bao, how long will you play with the toys? And how many games are still there for you to play? If you don't know this, ask the Beloved and make this as a game of asking him until he answers. Now this goes old, written by Bao Kalchuri, was written in October, on October 1st, 1990. And this just proves that Bao still wants to die. 
It says, I long for more kicks. Oh, Mayher, how can I tell others what I have received from you? You have given the longing for you, and that is the greatest gift for me. Oh, friends, do not ask what ambition I have in my life. I just want to die as early as possible without any delay in love for my beloved. Oh, people of the world, please do not think that I am indifferent towards you and I don't like you. My intoxication seeks oneness within you and because you don't pay attention towards oneness, you find me indifferent. Oh, nightingale of my heart, what a madness you have that you don't know what you are doing. You burn your own nest through your sweet and fiery singing. Oh, beloved, what a blessing you have bestowed upon me, and what compassion you have for me. You kick me, and I long for more kicks, and I derive joy in the pain of your kicks, and accept the kicks of your compassionate attitude. Oh, friends, how is it possible for me to reveal my relationship with the beloved? But if you are interested to know, keep your head bowed down at his feet, and you will experience it without asking. Oh, bow, what would have happened to you had the beloved not accepted you? The crow would have remained in possession of the nest which belongs to the nightingale of your heart. I'm showing this chart again. It is Baba's handwriting. And in 1925, he wrote a book after observing silence. He would write, and nobody knew about that book, the manuscript. Many years, of course, passed by. And no one, still no one knows. So before he docked his body just a week, before he one of the only asked Baba, where is that book? And Baba said that it is in safe hand. Don't worry. But we could not find it. We could not find it, but fortunately, some pages were found. And I have brought some, a few pages, just for the sample to show you how Baba would write. And it is quite a new thing, very difficult to understand, because God is beyond understanding. And still because it is a sophisticated age, people want to understand. So in order to get the understanding tired, he has also given different things. God speaks, the theme of creation. If you read God speaks, of course you think that you are advanced, you are in the, in the place. <laughs> But this is just the understanding. To experience that, it is quite a different thing. People, of course, read. They also follow different things. They become teachers. And take people, give talks. But this is just a talk. Experience is quite a different thing. There is another thing that is spiritual discipline and spiritual discipline so you have to do this you have to get up early in the morning you have to meditate you have to do this you have to eat a spiritual diet so many things and we think that this is spiritual 
spirituality cannot be explained. It is not possible. The perfect master, Adi Avatar, he knows everyone. Every book is life of everyone's book is clear to him. He knows from beginning to end. So when he comes down, of course he does not do long lecture or long talks or spiritual discipline. His work is that book of life everyone has, no one knows. So he goes on clearing the pages. Or rather, you can just say, this is just the age, sophisticated age. Computer is there. And you can have one library in, in a disk. So what he does, he just takes out the files, destroys the files, goes on destroying. That is his work. And that work, how can one understand? You have, you are with him. What he is doing for you, what he is doing for the world, no one knows. The book, everything from beginning to end, it is in the mind. And he has to just destroy the film of the, the disc, one after another, one after another. It is a very difficult work and that's why what is the spiritual discipline? How it can be told? How it can be explained? What one should do? And that's why he says, just remember me. Because he has to do all this for everyone. So, in this original book which he had written, he has revealed so many secrets. Secrets only to understand. If you try to understand that secret, you will understand. But to experience that is different thing. So far, this is just a sample. I I brought few pages. So you just see, and I think we will be able to. Here is this natural light. There is this natural darkness, unnatural darkness. As an unnatural light, i.e. the whole universe. So unnatural light is the whole universe that we see around us. The whole Maya. And then here it says, where only self is, only nothingness is. Self is light. And it's, that's natural light. Which is, well, actually now I'm explaining to you. I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. <laughs> I agree with everything. <laughs> so, self, self is, is soul or God. Bao, if I get anything wrong, correct me. I'm only repeating what Bao said. I don't understand this either. But uh, Where only self is, only nothingness, which is natural darkness, is. So he found us the unnatural light is the universe, the natural darkness is the nothingness, which is God. And the light is the realized self, the soul. From this natural darkness, or nothingness, unnatural darkness, or mind working, the false, the false eye, or egoism. So, is produced. Okay. Charlie, you want to... That is just perfect, Jim. <laughs> you know, I really think you really capsule it. The whole thing is just perfect like that. But of course, we'll bring in a couple of small points now with Bao. <laughs> Bye, Bao. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. I'm going to repeat that line again. Where only self, or light, is... Where only self is, which is light, only nothingness is, which is natural darkness. From this natural darkness, or nothingness, unnatural darkness, which is mind working, the false eye, egoism, is produced. From unnatural darkness, unnatural light, which is the universe, is produced. Want to add anything? 
thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> the original state of God. That is the natural light, infinite natural light. But consciousness is not there. So there is natural darkness. Natural darkness that is the nothingness. That is the state of the one. So God is and because Devana nothingness is also there, God is everything. So everything cannot be everything unless nothing is included in everything. Otherwise how? How can we say everything? Everything also includes nothing. So this nothingness means natural darkness is, is there that is the state of Nirvana. And out of this unnatural darkness, this mind is created, which is unnatural darkness. And unnatural darkness and this universe is unnatural light. Darkness has to experience the light. So, here unnatural darkness, because it is limited, so unnatural darkness experiences unnatural light in the form of the universe. The mind, when work, it is working, there is unnatural darkness. And unnatural darkness, unnatural darkness means the mind experiences this universe that is unnatural light. But unnatural light and unnatural darkness, then of course ultimately this unnatural darkness is merged in unnatural darkness. As soon as it is merged in natural darkness, we experience natural light. That is God. So, we are at, at the present through this mind, means unnatural darkness, experiencing this universe which is unnatural light. We have to experience natural light and that can be experienced only through natural darkness. So, when this mind is merged, in natural darkness, naturally we experience natural light. <laughs> naturally. Yeah. 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 Thus, mind stopped is light, God, self. And does everyone realize this is Baba's handwriting that he wrote in 1925? This is a, a blow-up, obviously, of a small manuscript page. And this, this, this is part of the book that he wrote in that um, table uh, uh, there, in, in, uh, it's in Lower Maribad. And what year did he write this? 1925. Right. And uh, much of it was written hunched over in that uh, in that table. Uh, table I made in his own hut on 10th July 1925. Baba Abdul Salih started Abdul Salih, and the next day started writing some part of the book he wrote in that hut. Lord of the universe, very poor, so a small hut was there, and he would just sleep on the ground, and he would, he would write. He would write there. Then part of the book there was one table, big table, under his instruction it was uh, made. And there was one uh, one thing, a small, a small cabin in the, in the table. So he would just go inside and he would write the book. Part of the book then uh, he wrote there. And then there was <coughs> one, uh, one school that was called Sai Baba, uh, Hazrat Baba Jan School perfect master, so temporary building, so at night he would write, he would sit there and he would write, kerosene lamp, the, at that time there was no electricity, so he would write there, then there part of the book he wrote, there was one Sain Darbar, means a, a name of Sain Baba, the perfect master, that, uh, that building was there, where Baba would meet people, and then part of the book, it so happened that there was water reservoir at the time of the army, Upper Bhairabha. 
So there was that um, uh, that Ritama. So Baba went, climbed up and went down. There was no water at the time, and he would, he was in seclusion there. He would not come out, and he wrote that book. And then again he went to Sai Darbar and completed that book there. And that book nobody saw. Manuscript which he had prepared. Nobody saw that except Gandhi who read few pages. And Gandhi says that now I realize what is the difference between you and me. I just talk. You can be experience. You don't talk. You you experience. So turn the key for me. Key of God realization. And Baba has told him that will you politics, and then I will do God realization. But then Gandhi said that I have given promise for independence of India. So how can I do it? I was saying, all right, after independence, you come to me and I will give you a um, God realization. And he had given this promise, but just after independence of India, he was assassinated. And then Baba declared that Gandhi would become a perfect pastor after three months. So up till now, Every year I would come and every one, many people would ask me about this book. And book of course, I would say that Gandhi had your promise to Baba that you translate this book. So Gandhi must be having that book. So you please just go and find out where Gandhi is. <laughs> now when I returned last year, I came to know that Baba made him free from this promise before his assassination. I said, what to do now? Now, when he has made him um, free from that, so what is the excuse for me, what I should take? But Baba, it is Baba's, um, I should say, love, for his lovers, that we got 40 pages. So out of 40 pages, of course, I have got, I have got this as a sample, just to show that what, how Baba has written, and even if you try to understand, you will be able to understand, no doubt. But it requires experience. When you experience, then of course you will know. You got all the 40 pages? Yes. How do these pages get separated from the, from the rest? That's why I say that please don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I don't know. Tomorrow you will say that of course this, how did you find this? What should I say? It was found. How? It was found in the in the store, uh, uh, grain, grain store. The store is there, the grain wood store. So in that store, of course, these pages were found. They were kept there. So, what to see? Since years and years, of course, they were there and nobody paid attention because the store would pay attention for that. There was one box. In, in the box, these pages were there. This is Baba's game. <laughs> And that's why Baba said that it is in safe hands. So I feel that what is happening, that it requires, he is giving awareness, awareness so that at least to understand. So for, for that purpose, of course, see now when the awareness is there, he is giving little by little. This is the only, only reason I, I can just think of why is not we did not find the find everything we have found everything I must not say but 40 pages original other pages original pages of that manuscript nobody still nobody knows but one copy was done and that copy 
Of course, the one who has done, I, I presume that it must have done by Chanji, his previous secretary, former secretary. Because I, I find that handwriting is just similar. So that copying after that Baba put all this in the bank. And, but when it was taken out of bank, those people in whose names, the pages where manuscript was kept, they are no more. No one is there. And it was taken out that, that also we have found that the manuscript was taken out of the bank. But where is it is kept, we don't know. These 40 pages, how these 40 pages were saved along with the with the with the copy of the manuscript we don't know but maybe some mistake committed for 40 pages remain there and the rest of the thing have to be taken out and it is in, in one book one 40 pages separate so there must be must have some someone who has who took it he must have committed some mistake that 40 pages is left and the rest of the thing was in the bank. It was taken out. All right. So everyone is following that unnatural darkness is the nothingness. Unnatural light is God realized. Uh, natural darkness is our limited mind. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Backwards. Natural light, God realized. Natural darkness, nothingness. God is nothingness. Uh, nirvana. Uh, unnatural darkness is our minds, Good. which sees the unnatural light, which is the universe and our bodies. All right? Thus, mind stopped is light, God, self. Mind working is false I, and this is Urdu for slave. Panda. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thus, in every one of you, there is natural light, which is your real self, and natural darkness, which is, and this is a, um, it's a Hindi or Gujarati, the existence. Hindi. Hindi. Existence. It means existence. The existence of light or spirit. So thus, in every one of you, there is natural light, your real self, and natural darkness, the existence of light spirit. There is also unnatural darkness, the mind, and unnatural light, body, and the whole universe. So all of that is so within us. Baba is explaining God is indivisible. And because God is indivisible, God is infinite, God is one. So who we are? Who we are? Because God cannot be divided. There is nothing besides God. Only God exists. So every one is not every one but one. And in every one you will find this infinite, um, this uh, natural light, natural darkness, unnatural light, and unnatural darkness. Unnatural darkness, limited mind, unnatural light, this <coughs> universe. Natural darkness is that. Where, of course, this all limitedness is just merged in, in, in the darkness and that when it is merged, then, of course, we just see the light, nature, light, God. Um, all the restrictions that we have on the point is that merged. Hmm. Very great house. <laughs> and we need young people with strong arms for that. Because of law, it has been raised all time. Thank you. Yeah, maybe come over a little bit. All right. And maybe we can go without bouncing frames now. Hey, uh, <laughs> Alright, now, <laughs> over here it says, so Kabir, Kabir was a perfect master. So Kabir says, and this Ek is, Ram Dasar Ghar Doli. 
एक राम घटघट में बोले एक राम का सकल पसारा एक राम त्रिभुवन से जान नाउ एक्सप्लेन That means now he's writing about Ram, who of course is one of the avatars, and Ram was the son of Desrat, who was the king. So this first line, and, he, and he's talking about the different aspects of God. So the first line says, "There is one Ram who swings in the cradle at the palace of Desrat." The second line is he says, "There is one Ram who speaks in the heart, who speaks in every heart." The next line is, "There is one Ram." Who exists everywhere? Is it, exists. Ek Ram means creates the paraphernalia universe. It creates everything. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is there is one Ram who is aloof from the three worlds. Mm -hmm. So he's aloof from everyone, beyond everything. Did you? Right? Did you repeat the? In English or in Gujarat? <laughs> in Hindi. In, 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 no, script is Gujarati. Okay. So this is, there is one Ram who swings in the cradle at the palace of Desrat, who was Ram's father. So that's the that's the body of Ram, uh, as, a, as, a, as the avatar. Expressing the body which we have, everyone. Right. There is one Ram who speaks in every heart. And he's got here, mind. Um, so I guess that's in the in his mind, right? There is one Ram who that's the third one. I always forget. I don't know why I have a hard time with that. Creates. Who creates everything? All right. There is so the creator, and there is one Ram who is aloof from the three worlds, aloof from everything, who is beyond everything. So now Bauer writes: Now natural darkness sees natural light every second. And unnatural darkness sees unnatural light every second, meaning that our minds we see the unnatural light, which is the universe in our bodies. Right. Um, I.e., the spirit sees the self, that's referring to God, and the mind sees the body and universe. Now, in the sound sleep, the natural darkness, the spirit, sees natural light. Self, God realized. And in the awake state, the natural darkness, i.e. spirit, becomes the unnatural darkness, or mind. In other words, that when we're asleep, we are uh, in the state of natural darkness and natural light. We see the natural light. As soon as we wake up, the mind takes over, and we see the unnatural light, which is the universe and the body. So to say, in the awake state, the spirit and mind are linked to the body and universe. Oh, are linked. The spirit and mind are linked, and the body and universe exist. But in the sound sleep state, the body and the universe do not exist because the mind is merged in the spirit. So in the sound sleep state, the mind is merged in the spirit. And there's no realization, so that when we're asleep, we're we are not God realized, but we're merged in God. That sound sleep is there, so mind stops working. Mind does not function, and because mind does not function, so universe is there. Though we are not experiencing at that time the universe, but it is there in the mind. It remains there, but in awake state. In sound sleep, when you are awake, that means mind does not exist. Then you see the light, and that is called realization. But if in the awake state the mind be merged in the spirit, then the universe and the body exist, but mind does not exist. We have seen before that when the mind exists, the body and the universe exist. That is when the universe. And the body exists, the mind exists. But here, when in the awake state the mind is merged in the spirit, in other words, God realization, the universe and the body exist, but the mind does not exist. I.e., the mind and spirit uh, unlinked, and this is realization. <laughs>
So mind, mind remains there. Mind does not function. That means the impressions are there. So universe also, universe is your know, sound sleep. Universe is there though you don't don't experience. But when all these impressions they are wiped out, then in sound sleep you are awake. Then that awakeness, of course, you eternally you enjoy. You are always awake. Sure, I have a very good handwriting, man. <laughs> 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 right. yeah, he will bring this to the Sahabas as well. So, and he's also made a gift of these to our center, so that we can study them at our leisure sometimes. <laughs> Uh, is there any way to get one box size of this? Uh, of this he didn't size. want to make copies of it because no one in Marazon knows that he's brought this here. <laughs> and he asked me to not tell because he's getting in trouble. That's the original size. Is this page one or two? Five pages. This is five pages. No, five, four, six, four, six, 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 six. The last one was four. Oh, there's a question here. Question, question, Daoji. What about dreaming? Dreaming, that is the, that, that system, that you are mind? still awake. Mind, mind is there. <laughs> Only in sound sleep, mind stops working. But still the impressions are there. So though you are not experiencing the universe, but it is there, which is that nature, darkness, that is the state where, of course, there is nothing. Complete vacuum. Complete vacuum. Emptiness. So that state, of course, when we achieve, and we, we can achieve that state when impressions are not there, mind is not there. So then, of course, you are always awake. You are always conscious, eternally conscious. When you drop your body, still you are conscious. Oh. <coughs> a person that dreamt a lot, then basically would they spend sanskaras in the dream state and also in the so-called awake state? Dream state, they are five states. One state is awake state. Then dream state and sound sleep state for ordinary persons. So we pass through, uh, pass, uh, pass through these three states every, every day. Awake state, so long we are awake. So we see the universe. Then when we go to sleep, first we pass through dream state. So dream state is still this is semi conscious. And semi conscious state. So whatever remains in subconscious mind, of course we experience in that in, the, in that state. But in sound sleep, mind stops working. Mind does not work. But then, suppose you experience the, the place, subtle world, this is grass world. So after this grass world, then you experience subtle world. So behind dream starts. You just see the divine dream. And in that divine dream, all these planes you experience of the subtle world. You experience the energy. And then afterwards you experience the thoughts. You become the master of thoughts. You see there is the light, the of light. And then 
complete darkness, natural darkness. When you experience that natural darkness, natural light you experience and you know who you are. You become one with God. So these five states are there, but we are passing through three states for the present. And after that, of course, when our gross consciousness turns into subtle consciousness, then of course we will just forget this outer world. Universe will forget, we will experience this subtle world. And then mental world, and then, then God. Yes? Um, what is one to make of uh, where Baba crosses out words? Thanks. You see where he crosses out words or he has a little cursor, whatever you call it, and you see a word up. Baba, Baba was, when he was writing, at that time kerosene lamp was there. Kerosene lamp, during night time you write. And only kerosene lamp sometimes, of course, Something would not be clear, so you will cut it. It is not something, only thing that when you you write, it could not be clear, so you just put cross it. Have you read the entire 40 pages? What? Yes, I did. I did not only this, but I have read. In the beginning, Baba had given discourses. Those discourses, they are not printed and nobody also saw those discourses. When he, he would give to the Mali, when the school was there, so he was explaining to, to the boys of the school. Every evening they would go and Baba would explain to them. And that's why that one one boy who would never he had come thirteen boys were brought from Iran. So he was just concerned with the study. And there were different um, um, people um, boys from different religions. Hindus were there, Muslims were there, Christians were there. So what Baba did at that time that Bible for Christians, one teacher was appointed to uh, teach Bible, another one Hindus Vedas, and then third um, 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 Muslims of course uh, Quran. But then Baba would just call them in the evening and he would view the discourse. And there was one, his name was uh, Forgot, but his name was even Chuta Baba means Smart Baba. So he would not believe in anything. And he had not come just for, for this purpose. He had come for study from Iran. But one day when Baba was giving the discourse, he just felt unconscious. He was not unconscious, but he left. He had no body consciousness and he was experiencing the sixth plane. Sixth plane means he was experiencing the equivalence of God's light and nothing else. The world disappeared. And in that state, when he was very blissful, so Baba was in the pit there at that time. Yesterday I showed that, told you that um, Baba had one pit there. And in that pit he was um, in seclusion. And one tin shed was there, there was one window, and wooden um, planks were there on the pit. So Baba would come up and nobody would see him. And he would sit on the plank and then he would give his course to the boys through one window. So only Baba's finger at that time, Baba was using a puppet board. So only from outside, only his fingers would be seen moving on the board. But nobody could see him. So he was, one day when he was giving this discourse, he just got the experience of six planes. And then Baba took that boy uh, in, the, in the pit. He was with Baba. And after 
um, after two days, when Baba was bringing me down, then when he got this normal consciousness, he was weeping and weeping and he was weeping. What an experience I, I was having. What why do you why did you bring me down? So he was weeping and then of course he he accepted that God is. God is. Otherwise he would not come. He had come only for his study. So the school Baba had created that school, established that school. The school there are so many schools in the world. But that is school which Baba had created, there was some purpose behind it. The course also in the school, just like in other school, the course was the same. But in the evening, when Baba would have do the discourse, one day it so happened that the boys they started weeping and weeping. And weeping and weeping and there was the road. So people just they heard the cry. So they said that there must be something, they went running in there. And the boys, school boys, they were just weeping. Afterwards, then of course, Baba, they would just remain in secluded place. Someone should sit under the tree, someone here. And only one would enjoy. And it, the whole atmosphere was changed. And that's why that, that, that book was written. Uh, um, Sops and Sops. That uh, Ramdu Abdullah, he wrote that book. Sops and Sops. What different atmosphere. Their hospital was there. Baba, Baba was working in the hospital. So there was one Christian doctor and Baba examined, went there and saw one patient. He was very, very serious. So he says, Baba says, give them this. And the doctor says, neither I am a doctor or he is a doctor. He did not sit when Baba was there. But neither I am a doctor or he is a doctor. He prescribes. Medicine and what is this medicine? Of course, it, it will not work. And Baba did not say to him that patient became more and more serious. More and more serious, he was just trying. And then afterwards, he says, She has said this to give him. So I must I must say now he will die. So the last last thing I must do, do this. And he gave him the boy was alright. So then, when any serious patient would be there, he would come to Baba and ask him. So, different thing it is that it is not the school and hospital what Baba had started. It was quite different thing for the spiritual purpose. Not only the way the schools are there, hospitals are there. Why? What is the need for that? We just see that in Mehrabad now, we have got a school, we have got hospital, we have got veterinary center. And we think that, oh, this is charitable work. This charity is quite different. We would not, we just think that we are very much interested. If you do treatment to someone, if someone is suffering from certain disease, of course he's all right, he's a good thing, he's not a bad thing. But you cannot make that one to come by me. So still the school is there. So that school of course after 10 months Baba is closed. But now we have started. But Baba himself is working there. Because he is working, then of course it is a different thing. Otherwise, what is there in, in the world of course hospitals and schools are there. So we should say that, oh, we are running the school, we are running the hospital, we are doing, we are doing all charitable work, we of charge. It, is, it has no meaning. It is no meaning. If there is anything should be that in such a way so that we may be free from that. If so in his name, when we do it, 
with all love. We are not just uh, obliging the giver. The service which is rendered, if it is rendered that yes, God is in everyone and it is our duty to serve God. So when we are serving, we are serving God, we are not serving anyone. So when we are serving God, we are not obliging anyone. Not obliging. So this is the opportunity we use. So that opportunity, of course, we must take advantage of that opportunity. We should not think that, oh, I am doing this and I am doing that. I am helping so many. There are so many social workers. They are doing social work. But this spiritual work, it is quite different. At least we must have that, um, that thing in your work that we are not obliging anyone. Of course, if we are serving, it is just the opportunity we are getting and that opportunity to serve God in day. So this attitude, if we have, then of course we are free, otherwise we are bound. Even good work, social workers, they do good work. But good work, they are bound by that. It is not that they are free. There are two types of bindings, good and bad. So good work if you do, good bindings. Bindings are there. Bad, bad bindings, but bindings are there. I just give an example, one incident. That in one of the states of India, there was a thing. And feminine every day it would appear in newspaper that people were starving, they were in bad light. Up and I would read and I would just think that at least we get rice in dal here every day. Those people they don't get. So I would feel for them. And one day I read in newspaper that one of the capitalists of India. He opened three kitchens there and free food to so many. He would, food would be distributed. And I was really very, very happy to hear and to read that. Said so at least God has given him wealth, but he knows well, at least one person capitalist. He realized that God has given him wealth, but he knows how to utilize it. He is doing selfless service. At night, I went to Babu and I was giving him massage and that thought came rushing in my mind that that capitalist he is doing selfless service. He is doing, of course, saving the life of so many persons. And Baba says, what are you thinking? And as usual, I said nothing, Baba. <laughs> He said, he's still with me. What are you thinking? I said, Baba, of course, the, the, that famine, so many people were starving. So this, this capitalist, of course, he, is, he has opened free kitchens and he's saving the life of so many. He's doing selfless service. Baba says, selfless service? He's doing selfish service. And I got a shock. That, you know, of course, this pen is saving the life of so many and Baba says that he is doing selfish service. So then Baba explains to me, why this man is doing this? There are two reasons. One reason he knows that when he does this work, of course, he will become very popular. It appears in newspaper that this man has that opened three kitchens and he is um, distributing food to so many persons. So his name and fame and he feels very happy. So he is doing this for the sake of name and fame. This is one part. Second part, second reason is that he knows that whatever he spends for this charitable cause, he would get tax deduction. <laughs> <laughs> so this is his selfish motive. So though he is doing good work, he is doing good work. Still he is bound by, by that work. And you are with me. You are serving me out of love. Without any expectation. And in me, the whole creation is here. So 
so you are serving the whole creation and you know not you know not when you do something of course you know that you are doing this but you know not that I'm, you cannot see that just like now you are serving the family members this so you know that you, you are serving but here of course you do you serve the beloved but you don't know that you are serving the whole whole universe so he says that he he is doing good work but he is bound and you are doing but you know, don't know you are serving out of love so you are serving the whole universe and you are free because you don't know that you are serving you only know that you are serving me you don't know that you are serving the creation so you are free from bondage that man he is doing good work but he is bound so what the thing so when you serve god so god when you serve then of course that is your duty you are not obliging him you must serve him and when you serve others thinking that yes you are serving god in them it is the opportunity for me to serve, serve god in them and you don't take take any credit you don't think about it Self, self, you do not bring the self there that I am doing this. Then of course you are free. And if you are, if you bring through that one person, if you serve him, and if you serve, is connected with the whole universe. So that binding, of course, you you don't get any binding. On the contrary, also you make him free from the binding if it is out of love. So selfless service, where self is not there, that is selfless service. And today the subject was manifestation. And I have to take another subject because of this um, this chart which I got. So now this manifestation. So from the beginning, when we just see Baba's work, we can just see outward work. What he was doing, serving the poor, serving the lepers, serving the blind, serving the God and intoxicated people must. But we did not see that he gave sight to any blind. We did not see that he gave, he made, made anyone um, from um, any poor rich. No, he did not do that. One or two cases are there. But thousands and thousands of people he would contact, he would wash their feet and bow down to them and give them present. They did not know who he was. And he was doing, but he did not make any poor rich. He did not make any blind, he did not give sight to any blind. He did not cure any leper. What work he was doing? Why? And that too. Nobody should know what he was doing. Nobody. People of course, Baba had given instruction that uh, no, no one should know, tell his name to anyone. Then he was doing this work. Otherwise they would not allow him to bow down to him. Would not allow him to wash their feet. So always in cognito he would roam about here and there. And of course he would do such a work. What he was doing? When, of course, you did not make any poor rich, so high you are doing this. What is the reason? We just see persons, they are poor. Yes, they are poor. Our duty is also to help them always. But what? Today, one, one man, he is hungry. You give him food. Good thing. Tomorrow again, he, he is hungry. Then, what will happen? So we can just little help we can give, but this is not real help. Real help, he was giving, he was sowing the seed of love in their hearts. Seed of love, which can make him free from pain. Bestow, bestow full, uh, uh, infinite freedom. That is the work he was doing. 
So now, what is his manifestation? All these boys who were in the school, and then afterwards Baba closed the school. And closed the school and they were sent back. Now what happens? Now just see why I am telling this. The connections. How the connections are there. We are here but my sister Tamara. She does not know that she is connected with the whole world. How she is connected she does not know. She knows that I am connected with my husband and child and relatives and friends. But she is connected with the whole world. Because now the child, she is connected with the child, connected with the husband, connected with the relatives. They are also connected to the others. And they are also connected with the others. So knowingly, of course, she is connected with, with the child, husband, relatives. Un, unknowingly, of course, she is connected with the whole world. So this, when Baba closed that school and school boys were sent back, and Baba wanted to come to to the west. And there was one boy, his name was Ali. Ali was the boy, his boy, his father would come from Bombay and he would take away from uh, take away with him from, from the school. And again the boy would come. Thrice he came. He took him away and thrice he came back. And Baba was called agreement wala Baba. <laughs> So what he would do, any boy, but when he, he will be admitted, what he would do that first agreement with the parents, that this boy will be kept here for one year. One year before that time, no parents should take away the boy. So this would be the agreement, stamp paper agreement, sign will deliver. <laughs> and then this the parents, the father came to know that oh here the something is going on, something is some uh, though he was some um, Quran, he was taught Quran there, Ali. But the um, father came to know now there is some conversion. So he would come and take that boy. Three times he took away. And every time that boy would just weep and weep and come back. Walking from Bombay to Ahmednagar, 150 miles. How old was he? He was 16 years old. 16 years old and he would walk down the distance and he would come back. And then again after some time the father would just, um, um, he would just uh, search him here and there and he would come there and he would find him and again take away. Lastly what he did, that he sent him to Iran. Iran and of course his relatives were there and he said that uh, anyone of course how, how could he come to Bihar? It is not possible from Iran. So the boy was there now in 1931. So before that Baba said that if I go to waste, Ali must be with me. Without Ali my work will not be done. So how to Ali was in Iran? So Baba sent one Mandi member to bring that boy from there. His name was Rao Sabafsi. So he went there. And of course the relatives could not, they would say no, we cannot send. We cannot send. So he sent a telegram to Baba saying that Baba it is impossible to bring Ali from Iran. So Baba sent another one, his name was Bailu. Vaidullah was the must who was looking after the must. So he went there. He went there and then of course he tried his best, but no, he did not. And then of course he sent later a uh, telegram to Baba that Baba is impossible. And Baba says, if Ali does not come, I cannot go to the west. My work will not be done. So then Baba was at that time Nasik, one of the places in India. He said, now I will go to Srinagar, Kashmir. So he goes to Kashmir and he asked the Mandi members to find out good boys, 
healthy and uh, of course uh, strong and intelligent so such would be made and every day the multi members would bring the boys and baba would look at them and baba would wash their feet and then uh, bow down to them and give them pertinent send them back it went on and on and on and then mandi member they thought that it must be baba's past time what work he does nothing he says ali ali so ali you you remember ali i want ali so ali he wanted and what work he doing here how can ali come because of this work what work he do so baba called everyone at night and baba says you don't understand this now just obey what i say go on searching bring the boys my work is connected with ali i am doing that and you will find that ali if if this work i if i find that someone comes i like that boy then of course ali will come. so again they started and one day one boy was come and baba felt so happy baba felt so happy and then baba bowed down to him and then bowed down to him and was was his feet gave his present and kept him how he put food and good clothes and everything and here baba contact the boy and by who sent the telegram that i am coming with ali then baba called you you are I, or everyone of the money and baba said you were thinking that this is my past time this was not my past time but what i was doing you have no idea this boy he has link with with ali and i contacted this link now nobody can stop ali from coming to india so he, he said that my work you don't understand the result comes in one word second word or third word definitely in third word and that's why those who have come in contact with baba we are thinking that oh, i what experience we are having we don't have any experience result in one word second word or third word definitely and that's why his manifestation so what is his manifestation means to get the awareness awareness towards the divinity so that divinity that awareness how that awareness will come what is the reason why we don't have that awareness our own impressions with the apparent the darkness through this darkness unnatural darkness we are experiencing unnatural light and we are just in hall thinking that this is the light this is the reality so for this purpose of course this unnatural darkness we must be free from this unnatural dark we just have the longing to see the light so that work he play, he is doing and that is his manifestation and that's why baba has said that my manifestation of course after dropping the body it takes 100 years 100 years you will just come go and come back or come back in 100 years of course our count will be turned clear until 100 years of course it will just go on you will not have any experience but 100 years when this universal manifestation takes place then of course you will, you will know that what is this thickness of darkness will become very thick very thin and then when it will become thin so every one will be have the longing to see the natural light now we are interested in seeing unnatural light then we will be we will be having the uh, longing to see the natural light so here this poor program leper program must program blind program all this program baba was doing so but i told you that he was showing the seed of love then 
from 1952 up to 1952 he was very busy with this work in 1952 december he started giving mass darshan program means meeting people previously he would not he would always be in seclusion afterwards also he would be in seclusion but at two times in two years of course he went round india so what he was doing he was just not giving long discourse or this nothing just giving one banana by way of prasad that was the purpose so after dropping the body it takes 100 years five universal manifestation so the his manifestation is divided into five phases 20 years of each so first phase of 20 years now 30 years have passed so this is now second phase so 20 years after 20 means in 20 years those who have come to him who are those people they are the persons belonging to banana wala group <laughs> they have got the physical touch from his physical touch they they don't know that we have we did not see him have baba but they have got the physical touch because they have received the banana and what was that banana showing the seed of love so that seed is germinating so they came came to him now second phase it has started so second phase they are coming so they are they are also many who have also got physical touch just like when a boy who had had his darshan got one banana from him he grew up and then of course became old and died so in the in this um, second in second phase there are many also those who have who have also received banana from him in third phase there will be very few who have received that banana but those who are in first phase they will also die and they will come back again so they they will be there and others will also be there who are connected with the first phase second phase are with the circle members generally circle members now fourth phase in fourth phase of course there will be none none means uh, during his uh, physical lifetime they, they did not approach him but afterwards they came in contact but those who have already approached they, they also come back again so in fourth phase this mixture will be there but in fifth phase it will be quite different just like baba has said one quarter one quarter will be there who had the touch who had the contact with him but the rest three quarters they will be the persons who do not believe in god atheist scientist and others who well, we are very happy with what we have to do with god when we suffer then we think about it father father please don't disturb <laughs> of course we don't um, criticize you but we are happy you have has to be go to god why should we think about it so there are many so in last phase they will be there and at that time he would throw his spiritual bomb and his spiritual bomb when it is there so whether he has come to destroy the world hi when he was nobody he was fighting he was fighting so whether the lord comes down on earth to kill the people to destroy no one knows what he does what benefit he makes you free from bondage he gives the freedom so that spiritual bomb when it will be thrown three quarter of those impressions they will be wiped out and what a benefit 
to to just get free from this impressions thousands of years thousands and thousands of years if you do meditation and yoga practices and penance and fasting and observe in silence nothing will help nothing you will have three quarter of the impressions will be wiped out so those scientists who say no we want the existence of god you have to prove that prove that then then of course it will be accepted and those people those who have come from different planets here they will get the advantage of three quarter of their impressions will be wiped out they will come back with awareness towards the divinity and that's why the total change will be there in the world total change and that's why baba was talking about new humanity the new humanity which will emerge it it will have the awareness towards god all low desires to be minimized to a great extent and in awareness everyone will have that awareness but the difference the degree of awareness will differ from person to person just like the sun is there sun is there and the world is there showing the back now there are most people they are so much attached with the world that they are just running towards the world the progress of the world enjoying just running there are some of course they they cannot run but because they don't know how this sophistication so they are learning the sophistication so just walking but not running third group is that that they think god is there so they think about where is god so because of this thinking they this walking slowly but god is there then fourth group it is there that fourth group god is there so we must find out god but how to find out we must do some meditation um uh, fast silence so they are engaged in that but the fifth group is such a group that of course god of course god if god is there why should we not find god so longing is there so they are just standing those showing the back towards the sun but they are just standing they are not um, walking towards the towards the world just standing there when his universal manifestation will take place about to every one will face towards the sun but those who were standing they would just go and embrace there were the uh, the second group of course he was um, those who were walking slowly so they would just think that yes we must go because of facing the sun every one will be inclined but the distance will be there distance will be there those who will be near close then of course they will embrace the sun others they would also incline they will go towards the sun every one would go towards the sun not towards the world not towards the illusion but and why because this low desires will be minimized to the great extent three quarter and that's why every one will be inclined now the difference how she loves mom and she has got 80 billion impress everyone who has got the new river but just to understand 80 billion impress now 80 billion impressions she has three quarter of the impressions will be wiped out so three quarter of 80 billion she has she has that is say 60 billion impressions 60 billion impression so three quarter of 60 billion but those who have got innumerable impressions so three quarter of innumerable impressions so means the awareness will differ in this way and when you have come in this contact when you love him when you follow him the work the process of wiping out the impression it is going on he is very very active what he is doing he has to wipe out That that is what main work. That's why no one can understand what he is doing. 
is this wiping out. Wiping out so the process has begun. There are many of course for, for them it will start afterwards. But those who have come because the process of wiping out the person, it has begun. And that's why you come. You have to speak, you just think of a lot of literature is there, Quran is there, Bible is there, Vedas are there. Why people come to me? If you read God speaks, oh, it is a difficult thing. No, you can't understand. Quran you can understand, Bible you can understand, and still why? Why you come? Not that because uh, you uh, you are trying to know uh, uh, know the truth, but he has started the process, and that's why towards the truth you are just you are inclined, and that's why you come to him. So that inclination to get that inclination for that purpose, he has to wipe out the impulse. Whatever you read, God speaks you read, or any book you read, discourses you read, but his real work is just wiping out. Wiping out our work. Our work is hard work. We are just we are involved with the world, involved with the illusion, involved with the dream. So we cannot do anything. So he has to do, and that's why Baba has said that don't worry about anything. Don't worry, just remember me. Don't take it lightly. Because this, you cannot do anything. Even if you try, what will you do? If you just do, do some social work. But I am there. I, I remain there. So, even if you do, you are not to become my One, one suppose one social worker here. How did he come up? We don't know. But it so happened in 1944, Baba had called his lovers uh, to Mehrabad. And Baba, from Mehrabad, every day Baba would go there to Mehrabad and would, would be with, with them for whole day. And he would just play with them. Sometimes he would give them some discourse. Sometimes, of course, uh, 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 you do different things, ask them humorous stories. So this this is uh, this was going on. Now one day he comes and he says, "From tomorrow, nine o'clock onwards, stop is good." And they were from Bombay, Pune, and other places. They were hand up smoking. They they just smoke and smoke all the time. Baba says, from tomorrow, 9 o'clock, no smoking, stop. And they could not understand how Baba abruptly gave this order. So when Baba left for Mehraga, they started smoking and smoking and smoking. <laughs> Next day, Baba came at 8 o'clock. They said at 9 o'clock. So they all came. And Baba says, still there is time. So I give you time. 50 minutes, I give you. 10 to 9, you come back. Till that time, of course, you smoke. So then again, they went out and finished smoking one after another. <laughs> and 10 to 9, they came. They came and then Baba says, now no more smoke. Stop complete. And they were just thinking what to do now. Without smoking, of course, sir. Uh, all of a sudden, how to stop it? They were just thinking and thinking. Exactly at 9 o'clock, one man comes. All of a sudden, he came. Nobody knew. And he came and Baba embraced him. And he says, Baba, I am a social worker. I am a social worker and uh, of course I have come to attend a conference of uh, social workers. So I always preside the conference. I am very popular all over. So when any conference is there, I go and preside. But I am also a spiritual. Very, very spiritual. I just get down, wake up early in the morning at 5 o'clock. I take bath and I meditate. 
and I eat only I take only spiritual food. I I, I drink milk. I don't drink tea. No coffee, no tea, and no smoking. But if anyone smokes before me, I cannot tolerate. And they heard this. Oh, that's why Baba Baba has stopped. This man says I cannot tolerate. So Baba says I am very very happy that you have come. So he says because I am spiritual, so anywhere I go, first thing I find out whether there is any saint or any master. So first thing before the conference, I go and take darshan. So Baba says very really good. At what time your conference is there? He says ten o'clock. Oh, now you have to, your darshan. You must attend the conference. Yes, yes, Baba. I am very happy to see you. Baba says I am also very happy to see you. And you are really spiritual, very really spiritual. Go and attend the conference. So he left. And as soon as he left, Baba says go and smoke. <laughs> So this is smoking. This is not a spiritual. It is not good for health. And for health, that is a different thing. For that purpose, if you don't smoke, it is a good. But don't think that it is spiritual. Because you don't smoke, you are spiritual. Because you don't drink coffee or tea, you are spiritual. Because you meditate, you are spiritual. No. Spirituality is quite different. Spirituality is such that of course still in natural way when love is there, it is just natural. You do not think about that, that I should the love in this way or that way. When mother and child is there, do you teach the child how to love you? You love him and he loves you in a very natural way. That love cannot be taught. It is natural. It, it comes. So that that love is love. Otherwise, if you just think that love should be, we should do this and we should do that, and then we will have that love. No, that is no love. That which comes through mind, it is not love. Through unnatural darkness, you want. <laughs> you want love. How is it possible? So for that purpose, love is very natural and it requires master's grace. But how fortunate we are that of course without knowing he has brought us in his um, contact and not only contact but he is giving little by little awareness towards him. A time will come when of course everyone will realize total change will be there in the world, total change. The awareness towards the divinity and when lower desires because of this desires how do we get whether we invite any desire we don't invite they are there they are there in the mind the impressions create the desires so desires so you cannot be blamed that you have this desire that desire we can just even if you try to get rid of them meditate Meditate for a long time, then of course you feel peace. But that is also very rare. That meditation only a rare one can, can do it because this is the sophisticated age. But what will you think about this bills and this and this work and that work? I have to do um, work in, in the computer and I have to go there, I have, I have to do this and I have to do that. So many things. Once Baba had also given to me to Mandi members to meditate one hour. How did it happen? We were um, um, Baba was to go into seclusion, and Baba had stopped correspondence and meeting people. So what happened that Hamirpur people, northern India, so they thought that now what we should do. We, we must do something. So repetition of God's name for four and a half months because Baba was in seclusion for four and a half months. So they also decided that yes, we should just uh, repeat, meditate on Baba's name. 
फुल ढाप मन से जरूर ही लेटा तू बाल हाँ लेटो बस रेट आउट इन बाबर से जस्ट सी माइल नवस व्हाट दे आर डूइंग एंड यू आर लेजी पर्सन यू डोंट डू दैट वी हैड नो टाइम हाउ टू हाउ टू डू इट एंड वी नेवर नेवर डिड इट तो बाबर से यू आल्सो डू एंड बाबर अलाउटेड द आवर्स One hour to Iraq, one hour to Pendu, one hour to Vishnu, one hour to Dr. Duncan, one hour to Gustaji, one hour to Alova, one hour to me, one six hours to Bedul. So twenty-four hours we had divided. But my time was very bad time. <laughs> Lunch time. Remember, <laughs> Nikhil Kanda. Every one was eating, and I was just meditating. <laughs> so I would close my eyes, and I would just repeat God's name, and half a minute, half even half a minute, I would not be able to do it. The heart would come with the they 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 must have started eating now. The second heart now heart, but this is today. The cook, a poor rice and dal, but still, how how yes, whether it is delicious or hard, so many things you know at the time. Then I have to do this and I have to do that. So I would feel very much disappointed after this. God's reputation, <laughs> name of reputation of God, very dis disappointed. And four five days after every day it would happen. I would try and try, but I would try, and more thoughts would come. I would try to check them, and I would get more thoughts. So one day, while I was sitting meditating, I was thinking that today I must tell Baba. I must tell Baba because it is not possible for me. When generally, of course, it does not happen, but when I do it. At that time, of course, may may thoughts come. Otherwise, no thoughts. So I must make it very clear to Baba and ask him to exempt me. And I saw someone knocked at my head. And I opened my eyes. Baba was here. I said, Baba, please just make me free from this because I cannot do it. I can. He came particularly for me. He had gone to his bungalow, and all alone he came. He came, and of course she knocked at my head, and I was just thinking about it. So then I, I said, "Bow, please exempt me from this." Bow says, "Why do you do this?" I said, "It is your order." So did I give this order that you stop your mind? I ask you to repeat God's name, and you are doing this. So then, then why do you worry about it? Mind, mind works. I did not ask you to stop your mind. So why, why do you worry about it? And then Baba gave a very good example. He said, when the mosquitoes are there, and you see, what do you do? You fix mosquito net around your bed. And when you are within the bed, inside, what happens? The mosquitoes are there, and the mosquitoes make noise. You hear the noise. But they cannot come and bite you because the net is there. So also, when you remember me, you just fix the net of my remembrance around your heart. And what is what are the mosquitoes? The thoughts and desires. So thoughts and desires they are there, but they cannot bite you. So why do you worry about it? And that's why when he says it is in order to remember me. So we are following his order. So at that time, thoughts. If you get thoughts, if you get desires, don't worry about it. Just have the date around your heart. And what is that date of remembrance? And you are free. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about whether you are good or bad. Forget about it. No way that you belong to him. He is the strength. He is the truth. And uh, of course, he is the one who can guide us. It is his duty to guide us. That's why he comes. So have this faith and don't worry about anything. 
and you will see one day what happens to you. Okay.